wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, see about maybe scheduling that interview um, with the one candidate we have. Excellent. And are all those dates okay for you? Or you already gave me the dates that work best for you, I think. I don't think I did actually. Okay, um, I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you those again. Okay. Okay. Great. Have a great meeting. Okay, thanks so much. Yep. Bye. Just hear her brighten at the other end of the tap. I used to, I haven't had tapping. Jim, just so you know, we're actually recording, so you might want to mute yourself and keep the video off for a minute until everybody gets here, and then we'll start officially. Thank you. I just noticed that. Thanks. Yep. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Hello. Um, so we are already recording. So just let you know. <laughs> Jim is here. Uh, Jim, if you want, you can unmute, but we won't. We'll give it another minute. I also see that we have Hannah Reichschaffen in our 
you know, as an attendee. So I'm going to say hi to Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? <laughs> Good. Um, so we haven't officially begun. We'll begin in a few minutes. Um, was there something particular you wanted to speak to today or you just wanted to join us? No, I was kind of just on to listen, especially okay. about the Electrify Amherst stuff and other okay. other plans you have. Yeah. Okay, great. So if you, if, you, if, you, if you want to join in, we don't usually have visitors, but we'll, we'd be happy to have you. We'll start officially in a few minutes. Thanks for No rush. <laughs> Okay, so why don't we give it another minute for uh, Shona and for who else are we waiting for? Amy. Amy. Yeah. Yes, I haven't I haven't heard that they're not coming, so I will assume they are. Okay. I'm going to mute. Actually, speaking of the devil, there's Amy. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Um, I guess we'll start. We don't need we don't need Shona to start. She'll show up. In fact, I remember now. She said she may not be here till a little later, so that's good. Yeah. Um, so Jim, you want to unmute, and I'll read my uh, introductory script, and we can start. Okay. Um, Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 18. This meeting of the Amherst Public Art Commission is being conducted via remote participation. I have to do a roll call check to see who's here and uh, make sure your audio is working properly. So I'll start with Ellen Kiter. Here. Jim Barnhill. Here. Amy Crawley. Here. Bill Kazen is here. And Shona King is not here, but we do expect her here. And uh, we have one, one guest attendee Hannah Rechschaffen, um, so she may or may not have something to contribute, but we welcome her because we don't usually have people who come to our meetings. So, <laughs> um, Okay, so the meeting is being recorded to the web and, and, and could be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast on the, and or broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Uh, I'm calling the meeting of the Amherst Public Art Commission to order. How's everybody? Hanging in, I guess. Hanging in, survived your <laughs> Thanksgiving. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I don't have anything particular to report as chair um, that's uh, off topic. Um, you know, we can, I have some Electrify Amherst stuff, nothing big. Uh, I can get to that when we get to that. Poetic Dialogue Grant, I think, will be what we spend most of our time on today. Otherwise, it's been uh, relative to the Public Art Commission anyway, pretty low key. Excuse me, my throat's a little scratchy. Given <clears throat> all sorts of other things that are going on in town. So why don't we, since Shona's not here, hold off on the treasurer's report um, and jump right into the poetic dialogue grants. Um, so Ellen emailed us the, uh, her draft of the grant application for the Cultural Council grants uh, for updating or uh, for refurbishing the Poetic Dialogue sculpture. I had a chance to look it over. Hopefully some of you other folks did. I could always share my screen or maybe even Ellen could share her screen if we wanted to look at it together. And um, so let's, uh, let's talk about that and see where we are and what we need to do and um, if there's any issues with wordsmithing. We could do a little bit of that here. We don't have a lot of other things on the agenda. I'm also secretary, so I have to try to navigate <clears throat> between taking the minutes and doing this, but um, uh, so summarize, I, I, yeah, I, I think what I'm looking for is um, if anybody feels uh, we need more explanation, I can't recall this is a web form we fill out and I can't recall if there's a character limit or word limit, but um, I can always cut down, um, but I feel that anything needs further um, clarification or description, happy to put that in. Um, so I just created this word document. I copied all the questions off the web form and created this just so we could look at it all. Um, so summarize the proposed project. 
um, you know, I don't know if it's worth mentioning when these were installed, who the artist was, why would the artist is not included um, in this grant proposal. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think a little bit more that certainly the artist's name and the date the piece was made would be important to have. And maybe some of that background, depending upon the word count um, for the submission. I, I was... I, I don't okay. think... Amherst Cultural Commission lacks information on who Emily Dickinson and Robert Frost are. <laughs> <laughs> so Ellen, to, to your question, the different fields, uh, especially for the explanations, there are some, um, I can't, again, I can't remember if it is word or character, but there are some limits. Yep. There is a section where you can include additional information. Okay. So it, that, that might be a place if, sure. if there's supporting documentation that you want to uh, include it. Um, yeah, I, de can, I definitely want to include photographs of it. Okay. So bad it and also I can, would say the, the artist gave us permission to do this work. So I would yeah. include that as a relevant piece of information um, somewhere. The question I did have was the funding amount. Had yeah. we settled on an, on a, so that's a question that I just fill in, um, but I was hoping Shoshana could confirm. Um, it might even be helpful to have a um, estimate from Camille, um, Kamal um, on letterhead or something. Um, otherwise it seems rather vague just to say $800. And I think she said 1300 plus if it will go back to his studio and I, yeah, I just want more clarification. Like, does that mean five thousand dollars or thirteen hundred, but below two thousand? You know, just right better range. And you know, transportation could be very costly of these. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. So that was also you saw in my email last night. Right, right. We'll have to wait till till Shoshana is on. Yeah. The, the only other question I had just with the information that you sent to us, because um, I, th I think there is a the section like on partners or, or who else might be involved and, and we've got the uh, DPW or BID. Um, I might be inclined to include the Dickinson Museum as a partner. Okay. Are they a partner? We would or have to reach out to them. Well, what? Right. I don't think you can say that unless they said, yes, we're going to be a partner or whatever. Of course, of course. Oh, um, can I just back up a minute? Is Are we going to attach a, a resume or anything of Camel Peters? Um, I can put his website. Which Something is like that, because so I mean, if you're giving money to somebody who's going to be preparing it, then that's the key piece of information I personally would want to have. To, whether yeah. that person could do it, which, which I'm sure he can, but let's oh, prove I heard, it. Yeah, I forgot he did the benches at Jake's. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'll put that in too. Yeah. I'm just highlighting here notes. I'm not going to, um, I'll, I'll put them into complete sentences. But <laughs> well, we, we did agree, just let me point out too, we did agree we, we want the full refurbish for sure. Yeah. So we want to get the quote for that, um, which you know I think the previous number Right, it was like 1200, which seems low ball to me. So just exactly. definitely go back to him. Get a, get a quote on paper would be great. Um, Excuse me, let me back up a minute. I think if you attach your uh, resume, it wouldn't be in your word count. No, it would probably be in the um, supplemental materials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can do that with the photographs and hopefully his estimate, if I can get a written estimate from him. Well, yeah. I I would highly recommend it that we have a written contract. So that I wouldn't be in favor of it actually if we didn't. Let's see, he's an artist. He's not. I'm trying to figure out if he has any copyright rights. Well, here's a question though: When we submit this grant, are we saying we're committed to? going with him or are we saying that we're committed to doing the work and here's an estimate from a qualified person in the area that's two different things yeah and, I don't, 
I, I, well, yes, I don't think we're committed to him necessarily at this stage. Um, but if we decide, if we get the money, then I think we would draft a contract. I don't right. want to draft a contract with them right. before we have money. Right. Um, and a court and, and Bill, I saw your email that if the project is under $10,000, we don't have to put it out to competitive bid, which right. is good. Just please make a mental note that in the contract, it should say it's a work for hire. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. that. In the contract drafting when, uh, when we get to that. Yeah. hopefully i just didn't want to forget yeah no that's all it will be very helpful to have your eagle eyes on on the, <laughs> the language um so one question i wanted to see this is due i think the 15th 15th something like that yeah um i can reach out to jane wald at the dickinson museum to just see if she can lend her support um you know, at this point, I don't know that I would ask her for money, but just her, you know, maybe a letter of support or, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I think that's all I would want at this point. Um, but I didn't know if somebody wanted to reach out. So last time we applied for this grant through the CPA, um, uh, Eric had reached out to the head of the DPW and got a verbal agreement. So that was two years ago. So I don't know if somebody, knew, I don't know, is it Guilford Maureen? I, I can do that. I, I've been in touch with Guilford for a number of things over the years. So I can shoot him a quick email, say okay. hi, I haven't talked to him for a while and uh, and see if they're still okay. able to do that. Yeah. Wait a minute, that bottom line, how are we gonna adjust the project? Are we gonna be able to do the project if we don't get the funding? We'll yeah. get, to, yeah, that's a good question. Because if you can't, that makes it a better sell to the funding agency, I would think. We, we can't do it unless we get some funds. Right. Um, so we, I think we should say no, um, APAC does, what is our, well, we'll have to wait for Shoshana again to get it. I, I think you could just say we have no budget for this other than uh, contributions. Okay. Yeah, because for some of the, well, for the um, Electrify Amherst, in that in that situation, it was we would, if we didn't get our full amount, we might reduce the number of boxes being painted, or reduce the stipend, or um, get donation support from businesses you know, we had some wording like that for at least for those projects so well um that doesn't uh, clear this up for me i'm really curious about how we could reduce this project if well, there, we could because what we could say i don't know if we want to but there are two renovation options one is that he comes on site and does just a quick fix the other is he brings it back to his studio for a full long-term repair so mm -hmm. the question is, do we want to open up the possibility that the Cultural Council might say, we're not going to give you the money for the big repair, but we'll give you a lesser amount for the quick fix? I can almost guarantee you that the Cultural Council will be thinking about partial funding, although that, I'm not saying they would only give us partial funding, but I know that's in their mind. So is it worth saying that then? Maybe we should say we'll attempt to solicit uh, funds from other sources or and then as a last resort, we could drastically reduce the scale of the project by blah, blah, blah. How about that? Um, okay, so... Uh... Yeah, I, I think in the past, we tried to avoid... Try to not put in there... If, if we get X amount, but if we don't get X amount, we'll only, you know do this amount. Um, it, it was a little more no, broad too, in the statement. Um, that's too, that's too blunt. I agree with you. No, so, I like the way you're doing it now. I wouldn't put the dollar amount in. No. It might be, Ellen, something like um, options would be 
on site repair versus removal of the sculpture, but remo you know, removing the 800 and just saying it could repair maybe could be done on site versus okay. uh, something like well, that. I would actually say something stronger. I would say best practices dictate that the sculpture mm. be removed and re mm. restored mm. for long term repair. Mm. Yeah, where while a short term fix on site is maybe possible, it would require another in the near future and another and yeah, something like that that says good point. Sort of something that's along you, those lines. What you're doing now. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can write it later, but yeah. just something yeah. to that effect. I think she was going to said in an email like it, it could last um, up to 10 years or something with the. It's like, a, yeah, fully stripping. I'm just taking notes here. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, now, I would just cl idea. clarify this with Kamal. I mean, yeah. I think that's really the person to go to at this okay. point and just really um, tell them what we're thinking about doing and just make sure he's still on, on board, that these are the two options. Obviously, we prefer the long term real solution. And then, um, you know, spin your wording carefully to push heavily for the good solution. I mean, if, it's a small piece pot of money one way or the other. I mean, I don't know how strapped the cultural council will be this year. Jim seems to indicate pretty strapped, mm -hmm. um, but. No, I didn't say that. I just said, I know they think about partial funding. Yeah, okay. Um, how much are we talking about? Uh, under two, under 2000, we think for the full repair, maybe under a thousand for the, for the short-term repair, maybe about half for the short-term, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. Okay. And, and, uh, sometimes, well, again, the electrical box project just being my main uh, point of reference. Um, I think two years ago, we maybe asked for 2000 and we got the 1500. So there's usually, you know, some percentage of that full amount um, that we've received for either the public art commission work or even for um, art site plus there's usually we've never gotten a hundred percent of our, our ask well that's good to know because we know for sure we're getting zero from the town paul said no money from the town but let's say we get 75 percent, we might be able to get it from the dickinson you know mm -hmm. if it's a few hundred dollars or i don't know i mean i'm just throwing it out there but right right um, exactly so that would also be something to think about talking to Jane about. There might be individuals who should. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. this a, is there a way to do a 501c3 contribution? Do, do you can, people can make donations to, there is a way that, the way, the way, the way things are set up now, I believe people can make donations. To a 501c3? Well, it would be to the town. There's some, there's some um, charities that can only give to organizations that are organized under 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. That's well, cool. right, yeah. Yeah, we have to, individuals can. So anyway, that's something to think about. There's been a lot of discussions in the past about whether there should be a separate organization set up that was a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, there is one now in town. It's the one that's run by, um, by the bid. Um, mm. So it might be possible to partner with them for something like this too. So that's another thing to think about yeah. if we want to start our own. It's, yeah, a, very, it's a very long process. Mm, I mm. certainly can't get it done now. Right. <laughs> yeah. What is um, it? We debated this a lot in the dog park um, committee and decided ultimately not to form a nonprofit. Oh, um, but there were a lot of reasons for it. <laughs> so, Ellen? Yes. Um, would we also want to possibly include the cultural district as a partner uh, or a su you know, supporter because that is in the cultural district? Right. Okay. So culture. Culture located within the new, is it sort of newly designated? I, I, I might say within the boundaries of the cultural district. Okay. Or, <laughs> I don't think newly designated adds anything to the persuasive okay. appeal. Um, what you're doing is you're you're appeal you know you're 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 talking about uh, 
the community support when you say that. That's the that's what I think the persuasive aspect of that is. You know, third yeah. party support. And and I think the full is Amherst Center Cultural District. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you have an expert that can comment on the art or the uh, repair or anything like that so that you can appeal to expertise. Is there someone that could say, yes, this would enhance blah, 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 whatever? Well, I think we, we are all saying it will end. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I know, but I'm just going down, you know, I teach persuasion theory, so I'm going down my checklist, that's all. <laughs> um, well, let me just, before we jump to that, um, do we want to get the support of the Amherst Cultural District and who is the, the head of that? Is that Anne? Right now it's Ann, yeah, mm -hmm. for the year. Um, I'm not sure. I was going to some of those meetings. I haven't been to one recently. Uh, I could I could reach out to Ann. I, I personally think the more community support you get, the more likely you are to get money. I lost something here. I lost a sentence. I got to look that one up. <laughs> um, I mean, actually, we could just appeal to her as chair and say, would she as chair just be willing to write us a short note saying, and because I don't know when they're having their next meeting, when because they would have then have to get together as a full meeting and, and vote on it. Um, I, I'll just say, uh, what do you think? Even as an individual, it would be worth something. Sure. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll do Dickinson. And you'll also do DPW. Do yeah. we want to reach out to Gabrielle at the bid? I think you should. Um, I can do that. So if you've got the, the bid and, and and you've got DPW and and a, one other person, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the and the Dickinson Museum, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's so pretty good. When we reach out, Bill, should we just ask for? What do you think, like a letter of support or just an email of support? Um, I think we just need to say we have, or APAC has received letters of support from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Does it have to be complicated? The easier, the, the shorter, the better because it's easier to get. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to like bog anyone down or make anyone feel you're committing to anything major or they have to give lots of money yeah. everyone's strapped at the moment. So. Actually, if you go and ask for a letter of support and they give it to you and you want money, you're much better off having asked the letter of support and gotten it the next, when you go back, you're more likely to get money than if you'd asked for it up front. Okay. Yeah, so, and I, I think an email is fine. Okay. I mean, unless, unless we want something on letterhead, but I don't, if we're not gonna submit it with the grant, I don't know that it's necessary. Yeah, I think they just wanna know that we have it and we can even put the names in like, um, Jane Wald at, you know, uh, executive director of the Dickinson Museum, Gabrielle, I don't know, Gould. Gould, Gould right. yeah. This is good. We'll know who all these people are, so. Yeah. The, uh, I was just gonna say the, something to keep in mind. We, we apply, we get some money. Uh, just to kind of put in the back of our heads again with Florence Bank, when I talked with them about possibly being on the jury for the electrical box project. Oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. They, uh, the, the branch manager here um, did indicate that, you know, they are interested in supporting uh, events, um, projects. So that's just something to keep in, you know, keep in the back of our minds of when, mm -hmm. if we're looking for other financial sources or support, you know, right. they, they've expressed an interest in, yeah. Yes. We go to uh, that. We don't get the grant. Right. Be a possibility. Mm -hmm. Or if we need, yeah. yeah. I think you're going to get a grant. I'm not sure you'll get all of the money you need from this one source. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Did anybody have ideas about um, promoting the project to the community? Um, I just made this up. <laughs> I didn't know oh. if there was. I, I, I was wondering about that too. I mean, certainly right now we don't know how much in person we would be able to do, but I do think 
if mm-hmm. there is something that ties into like you've got there you know, some sort of gathering or a little event that that again brings the community together which is yeah, is do. often what what the cult uh, council is very supportive of um i would say maybe we could do a tie-in when it's done assuming COVID mm. pass a little bit with the dickinson that could be a good thing if they yes. have some kind of other thing because it's so close to where they are anyway um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe that, that might be something to ask jane about it might be a good synergy yeah. there you could have an installation ceremony when it's done yeah that's what i'm writing oh, what a good idea <laughs> no i don't know i got it from you guys <laughs> Little poetry. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Poetry. Ooh, maybe we could have somebody dressing up like Emily and Robert. They can <laughs> watch themselves get reinstalled. <laughs> we could have a, yeah, like a, hey, there was, well, that was a guy though. He went around impersonating people. There must be a woman that does that. Uh, there, there was a woman, just as a side note, yes, there was a woman, and Anne Tweedy would be able to clarify who this was. When the trolley was around for uh, Arts Night, um, and she would dress up as Emily Dickinson. There you go. There's some guy that's a Mark Twain impersonator, I think, or something like mm, that, mm. and various other people. And it's really pretty cool. Yeah. And Ellen, I, I looked at the the original, the where the one where you said you you lost a sentence. I don't see it on the copy that you sent us. So it's um, probably on my computer at work. Um, oh okay yeah because mine mine is yeah there's nothing after that dash okay yeah i'll just i can reword it so um (laughs) okay i think it looks really good so thank you i think we just need to get um those support so we're not saying we will solicit support but we have the support yeah Mm -hmm. and then i think um, I just need Soshana to, um, I feel, you know, I, I just don't feel um, confident until I have a better sense from her that this 1300 plus, uh, you know, mm. I would just like, a, a, I know it's hard to make estimates, but I'm sure he's done it before. So, um, and I have photographs. You should probably get that, you know, we need a written Oh, the stuff that Sorrel, I would recommend it be in writing, including estimates. Okay. Oh, I guess who's here? That is good timing, Shona. <laughs> hey. I that can stop sharing this. Amazing. Oh, you're back. Shona, join us. <laughs> okay. So we are just at the tail end, but it is the perfect time of discussing Actually, we should have waited till you were here. I apologize. The Poetic Dialogue Grant. And um, we wanted to really talk to you about um, Kamal and, and getting back in touch with Kamal and getting a better, an updated number from him. Yeah, I'm actually still working. I talked to him this morning. Oh. And because I was looking to see if I had gotten a new invoice from him. And I did not. And so I called him and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get it to you. So (laughs) probably sometime today. Um, Great. And I'll email it to you guys when I get it. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Did you have, so we were looking at the draft that Ellen had sent us of the grants. And um, did you have any comments you want to make on that before we move on? If you, get a if you didn't have a chance to look at it, that's fine. But if you did and you have anything you want to add, or you could shoot her an email later if it's just to her. I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> no, we had, we had a good discussion. Um, okay. All right, anything else on this before we move on? Thank you all. Great. Thank you for putting it together. Yeah. Yes, thanks Thank so you. much. Um, okay, Electrify Amherst. Uh, the third round of Electrify Amherst is done. All of the paperwork is in. All the money should have come into our account, gone out of our account. So actually, Shona, 
I don't know if you've had a chance to check. Um, we'll come back to you for treasurer's report, but uh, I had been in touch with Holly uh, before Thanksgiving two weeks ago. Amy did all the paperwork for me basically and Shona came over and signed it and I put it all together in a package, dropped it off in town hall. Boom, boom, boom. And Holly said everything went out. So hopefully, well, nice. the money came in to our account and then the checks went out to the artists. Amy, have you heard from any of the artists? No. No, okay. no. and and then, you know, I guess it's what, two to three weeks for the town to process and all that. So yeah. uh, have not heard anything. So I guess the question I have is we're applying for uh, poetic dialogue for the uh, Cultural Council grant, which is what we usually apply to for Electro High Amherst money. Um, does this mean we're going to pause Electro High Amherst or, or see our work on that is done for now as we move on to other things? Or is there any thoughts on that? I think My sense. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think we felt that poetic dialogue should take precedence this year, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um, I don't think we discussed ending the project necessarily, but just asking for this to the Cultural Council to fund this project. Um, I don't know, we should maybe discuss it if we if this is something we want to look for other funding for. Sorry, Amy, you were going to say something? No, I, I, in a similar line of we were yeah, maybe, maybe pausing is, is the right word, but, um, you know, having gone through it for the three years um, and just switching gears to something a, a little different. Um, and certainly, you know, going forward with it, it's, it moves into who else um, starts running the, the, the project because I think there, there will be some changes on, on the, the committee at, at some point. So um, as terms are, are up for different people. Um, and then I think too, the other question was, we did the boxes for three years. Did we want to think something bigger like the mural or, uh, but I think poetic dialogue was brought in because we had applied for funding through other avenues and, and that, didn't work and and there is a definite need to get the repairs done on that piece and it's you know right there in the, in the cultural district so so it seems like we're pretty much agreed that for the moment electrify amherst is on pause and um, this will come up later in our meeting but yeah we're definitely looking towards getting some new members on board hopefully sooner rather than later um and so that's part of the piece puzzle for me, also a big part of the puzzle is percent for art uh, because there's going to be a ton of work to do on that in the next year, um, just getting prepared for it, let alone executing it uh, as as it ramps up for the school building and possibly the library. Um, still not clarified. So it seems like a good time to sort of yeah pause that and um, wrap up this very old piece of the poetic dialogue if we can get that back up to speed. Yeah, I actually uh, just got a text from Kamal. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's not a, a written invoice yet, but um, for the removing of the piece and doing like the resurfacing that lasts for like a decade would be 1400. Okay. Seems reasonable. So I mean, do we ask for 2000? <laughs> anyway, well, we can figure that out, but that's, oh, good. that's a good question. Um, oh, go 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 bigger and <laughs> right. Well, because because that's one one quote. Well, anyway, yeah. I mean, yeah. You can't really say it's going to cost two thousand if it's fourteen hundred. Right. Okay. Anyway, electric hammer. So, are we agreed that that's on pause for the moment um, to be discussed with incoming members in the pile of possible things to do <laughs> in the future? I think that's fine. I think so. Yes. I, really, I love the project and I'm happy with all our boxes, but I think it's fine to pause it for now. Yeah. Okay. So Bol Boltwood Walk Gallery proposal is, Paul never followed up. Um, you know, here's the thing about Paul, I'll get his attention, 
have the attention briefly and then um, things don't always get done. So, uh, and, but I don't necessarily want to keep bugging him constantly either. Um, so nothing had been done last I spoke with him, which was about three weeks ago. Uh, I will ask him once again, um, what might be happening with that? Mm -hmm. Because that's another long, long, even longer standing piece under our purview that is just, you know, out there doing nothing that I would really like to see something happen with. So we'll... Yeah. Is there any system on, that, that you could get involved that might be willing to push it? Because that prob that person probably has fewer balls in the air and probably more time, maybe. Uh, no, because it has to go to the lawyer, and Paul is really the oh. the is the person who authorizes that. And I, I think the those windows was also something else that might be grant funded uh, through you know. If we're moving from the electrical boxes, that might be another big project. If, yeah. if we decide to turn it into an outdoor gallery, as we were right. thinking about doing, or, or something, yeah. or even if we we're going to restore it, you know, that's going to cost money. So, um, whatever happens with that will also be uh, another potentially medium sized project, let's say. Shona? Just as an extra little, you know, interesting tidbit about the, um, about that. I was talking to somebody recently about like, you know, what is the Amherst Public Art Commission? And um, that was actually the first thing that popped in their mind was mm -hmm. that old defunct thing. And so the, like, that's actually like the right. image in people's minds of what the Amherst Public Art Commission is, is this broken this, like, thing that doesn't work. <laughs> and, and ironically enough, that was not a public art commission project. <laughs> so it's not, we had nothing to do with it. it. It fell in our lap after it was done and didn't work, but it was not originally a public art commission project. So that's sad. And all the more reason why we should turn it around if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So moving on to percent for art, uh, no news there. Uh, I think I, I might have mentioned this, maybe not the last time I talked to Paul. Um, he had suggested Sean Mangano is a possible person for me to work or us to work with. He's the finance or, or I actually forget what his title is, but he he's in finance. He was with the schools, focused on schools and now more broadly, I think, for the town. He's a young guy, very smart, great guy, um, would be good to have as our touchstone. Um, doesn't know much about the arts, though, um, but that's something that we could supply. So. One of the things that we should do moving forward is set up a meeting between maybe myself, whoever in town hall is going to work on this, and then um, Lily and Shu from Cambridge, who runs their program, and just start to get a list of best practices down and really, because you know we need to come up with a set of guidelines for how to run this thing before we're just charged with running it, I think, um, if we can. So moving forward, that's something I'd really like to concentrate on in the next six months is uh, trying to lay as much groundwork as we can for Percent for Art before it's a suddenly dropped in our lap and it, we have to make this thing happen. So that's really where my head is. I mean, as you guys know, my I've been really focused on that project for a while anyway. Um, uh, any questions about that? Do we, ha do, do we have any updates for uh, PR? I know you had reached out to oh. uh, Brianna. Yeah, we did do a press release. I worked on that with her quite a bit. Um, I don't know that she ever push, pushed it out. This was leading up to Thanksgiving, so I should double check. Um, but there, there was a press release. And, uh, we were going to actually use that also as a recruiting tool for new members, which I guess I'll come to with plans for moving forward. Um, but that's good to remind me, and I'll, I should reach out to her again. I'll make a note of it um, just to see where we are. Uh, Okay. Yeah, because oh, there was a nice, well, maybe you guys didn't see this. In fact, I should send it to you all. There was a really nice um, article on it published in the um, Mass Municipal Society's online journal. <laughs> but uh, they, they, that's like the big, like every local government, it's like they're all under the umbrella of this, um, uh, this nonprofit that really um, connects all of these towns together especially for smaller towns, it's a really big deal. Paul is a huge proponent of it. All the town councilors go to their big yearly meeting. And so they um, wrote a quite a long, nice piece about our, about our percent for art legislation. Oh, so that'd I be great. In, I was interviewed, Andy Steinberg was interviewed. 
um, somebody else. Um, but so I'll share that with you guys. Yeah, that, yeah, because if there's a link, we, we could put it oh, up on our Facebook course. page too. Yeah. Is that so that's separate from the press release then? That's separate. Yeah, this was just an article that they contacted okay. me about. And yeah. But we haven't gotten a lot of other press. There was a small mention in Mass Live. Um, but I, you know, this is something that I think could have had, you know, there's so many other big things going on relative to COVID, but um, it's a nice piece of news. And, uh, you know, if, if we had somebody doing PR for us or press for us, which we don't, if we were better at those kinds of things, um, I could imagine the Globe covering it and other bigger papers covering it, but it hasn't happened so far. You know, we can do it a little another rollout for it when, when, when we have our guidelines and everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Town Hall Gallery. Amy? Um, still just doing the uh, online feature for our artists. Um, our, our current artist, uh, Chris Bordenka, he um, shares because I, you know, there's a post that goes up every week with one of his images and that that leaped out to some other uh, blog that he was featured in or something. So um, he's been very good about you know so doing some of the promoting. Um, so that that's kind of where we're at right now, and I think that's where we will be staying for the uh, near term. <laughs> Just offering that that option to the artists for the online exhibit. And that does tie back into the social media. So as I said, that, that goes out on Facebook. Um, otherwise it's, it's kind of quiet. It's just kind of holding its own what we have. Uh, plans for moving forward. So that um, speaks to us being two members down and uh, Angela, got in touch with me recently about scheduling interviews and then she looked to see how many of the um, community activity forms, the CAFs were filled out to be on our crew and there was only one, but it's one very good potential applicant. So I'm excited and hopefully we'll be able to schedule an interview with her. She's still interested. Um, who knows how the interview will go or if she'll accept, et cetera, et cetera. But at least, you know, we have one good candidate in the pool, but we do really need to shake the tree and get more applicants. And uh, we, you know, because at some point, I know they're allowing people to extend their membership on town boards for a while because of COVID, but at some point, you know, Ellen and Amy are due to rotate off and um, we, you know, we should be seven, not five. Um, and if we're down two, that'll leave us with three. So we really can't yeah. function as three. Um, so we need to get some good new blood on board. So if anybody has any thoughts about or wants to reach out to people, I mean, I'll do a little bit of that myself. Um, yeah, there, there was the, the person, um, I don't recall her name, who relatively new to the area, UMass Art History, and I think I, oh, yeah. yeah, and, and I you know, did a follow-up with her uh, email-wise, but I didn't get a response back. I don't know if she went and looked at the forms or reached out to you or, no. or if she got the email on that. <laughs> I don't know about that either. Um, but if I think of anybody, I'll certainly encourage them. Yep. Okay. Well, all of you do the same. I know. I'm trying to like rack my brain. I can't come up with anybody, <laughs> but I'll rack it more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the things I am thinking is that percent for art and working on that. I mean, that might be a turnoff for some people, but it could be a real attraction for people because especially if you have, like I do, you have kids in the elementary school or in the school system, the idea that you'd be able to contribute to, or, you know, the library as well, potentially mm -hmm. a permanent mm -hmm. work of art in either of those places is a, in my, to me, that's very attractive, obviously. I mean, I, you know, so, um, I think if we pitch it that way, that we might mm -hmm. get more applicants. Can you know, I think with COVID. People, I'm sorry, can people who have rotated off come back on? I think 
Paul is not super inclined to do that. I don't know that there's any rule against it. Okay. Um, did you have somebody particular in mind? No, I was just thinking about Eric because of the person <laughs> <laughs> baby and he might be or he might just volunteer his time to help with the right. guidelines. Um, yeah. protocols, but I think yeah. I heard somewhere I that when you rotate off, you have to do a year away and then you can come back. That's yeah. a normal rule. Yeah. 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 Like, would you want an art historian? Sure. Okay. I'm an art historian. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in another one. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> we don't have any. We, we don't have anything against them. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to exclude present company. <laughs> but yes. All right. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Find, they need to be in Amherst, though, right? Yeah. 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 Thinking of photographers, and I could probably get a photographer, but I'm trying to think of one in Amherst, and I can't. I believe that the the. The woman who filled out the CAF is a is a photographer. I mean, which is great. I mean, it doesn't you know we've had lots of photographers have one on now. Um, but anyway, I'm just trying to think of people I might bump into that way. All right, that's it for that's all I have. Um, anybody have anything else? Just want to see if we can approve the minutes from October. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to pull them up or? Yeah. Okay. I think I looked at them, but I should just double check. Oh, sorry. One thing in the in the form that you filled out um, for the Cultural Council grant that I found is um, it better to refer to me as William for formal things. Although in the in the minutes, not so it doesn't matter to me, but just in the uh, in the grant application. Um. Oh. Okay. So don't worry about it for the minutes. Okay. So these are the October minutes. Um. Can we just read them on the screen? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, we didn't do a treasurer's report. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Do you have an updated? Because Shona did the money. Did you see if the money came in or out um, for the, with the grants? No, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't bugged Holly about it. So maybe would, that's worth doing for next meeting. Okay. I'll do it for next meeting and yeah, we'll be able to see what kind of stuff came in and out. Okay. So that was yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, it looks fine to me. <laughs> Move that we approve. Aye, uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Approved. Excellent. Thank you. So then the last thing is scheduling our next meeting. I do apologize for um, dropping the ball on the schedule for this meeting and having it rescheduled. Um, it seemed to work out okay, but. Uh, I do apologize. So let's see if we can find a time for the next meeting and I will, or do we want to actually schedule further out than that? I don't know, but at least for the next meeting. we we'll get into the, well, nobody's really traveling. Well, maybe they are, I don't know, but. <laughs> not going anywhere. Toward the end of December. <laughs> I don't know, do we want to move one to January? Like early January or? I guess the question is, um, we have the grant mm. due on the 15th. Do we want to have a meeting on the 14th in two weeks? Um, is there actually, any reason to do that? Actually, I think the grant is due on the 14th. Oh, OK. So So then we'd be looking at the 21st, potentially, the 28th, or the 4th. All work for me. Yeah, I don't have any strong. Yeah, I might be taking off the, I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but the 28th, just, you know, the kids are home and whatever, so. Well, they're always home. <laughs> 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 they never <Yes>. leave. <laughs> yes. um, but I have an appointment on the 4th in Northampton at 1. So we'd have to either do it like earlier or another time. 
Do we want to do the 21st? We do the 21st. That's also uh, winter solstice. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. We'll need to have something to perk ourselves up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shortest day of the year, we can celebrate. It's over. <laughs> I feel like we live in Alaska. It's dark so early. Twenty <laughs> first is fine for me. Okay. All right. Do we want to schedule out after that, or should we just be doing one month at a time at this point? Just do one. Month. I'm okay. Yeah. Just doing one at okay. a time now. That's, yeah, that's, that's fine. Just twelve to ones again. Yeah, I mean, it's, we, I'm scheduling until two, but um, I try to keep it to an hour on Zoom. Okay. All right, noon on Thursday. Wait, no, wait. I've One got the day. wrong month there. <laughs> December. <laughs> All right, so Which we have our Monday. So, Ellen, um, you're going to be doing a lot of things behind the scenes for this grant. I'm doing a few things. Shona as well. Um, uh, we'll get you our pieces individually. You can reach out to us individually um, yep. if you need anything else. No, I'll, I'll reach out to, to Jane and, and Gabrielle probably this afternoon, just get that going. Okay, and I'm gonna reach out to Guilford and Ann Tweedy. And, and Shona, you're gonna help with Kamal. Yep. And when you reach out to Guilford, um, I guess when Eric reached out to him two years ago, he agreed to um, help with the landscaping. And I keep forgetting if, you know, cause they planted hundreds of daffodil bulbs as part of the installation. And there was a walkway that's now been overgrown and you can see parts of it, but um, I just don't know how much of a commitment the DPW wants to make to helping restore it. Um, well, the, was it does it need to be restored way. or can't we just say make it look nice? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Commit to making it look nice. Yeah, you can Whatever. see there used to be, there was metal edging along the pass, which were gravel, which had now sunk in and the gravels mixed with grass. So you can't really see where the pathways mm. were. Or she um, would look much nicer if that were back. Yeah, they, we do have the maps of sort of how it was laid out and you can kind of see it, but um, it's not it, it's not obvious at all the way it once was. It, you know, it led from the sidewalk and wrapped around the, the, the sculpture. Um, and then, yeah, they planted hundreds of daffodils, which I don't think DPW, we wouldn't ask them to do that, but I, I can't even recall in the spring if the daffodils are still blooming or- Who planted? Yeah, their photos, then it was just like a field of daffodils. It was really wow. Do we, know, do we know who planted them? It was part of the, the original design, oh. I think. So maybe that's where we need the more, more money. Or the garden club, or I don't, I don't know. But seriously, if we're going to ask for 2000 we ask for the extra money for the landscaping. OK. Right. And then if we don't Absolutely. get put back on the landscaping, which gives them a and out. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Because oh, that's good. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Should there be money for like um, print and advertising to, you know, have some sort of re release of it to the public? <laughs> oh boy, that's a tough sell. Yeah. I it's, I think we could just do social media, do a big, if we can, a big push on social media and maybe, um, yeah, a nice article okay. in the local papers. Um, and yeah. Amherst Media might come out. Yeah, there you, you know, go. They might do something for us. Yeah. Yeah. On the I could do something for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think will run one if you talk to a guy blocking on his name as a guy that handles art stuff. Mm -hmm. Steve, Steve, Steve Farr. Oh, Farr, Steve, yeah. yeah. Steve Farr, yeah. Um, so I would say then the 1500 is for the, it's Kamal's quote or 1400 and then the five or 600 is, it is for landscaping and then the DPW helped with the physical restoration of the site and they're going to do that gratis, something like yeah. that. Yeah, excellent. That's beginning to sound pretty substantial. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if you have the photos that show all this fabulous 
greenery or yellow yellowery or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah that might be interesting to include in the um, in the grant is sort of what it looked like at the dedication and what it looks like now. I have I think three mm. photos from you, Shoshana, and I have some I took with the two years ago. So, I mean, anybody walking by it will know it's not, you know, it's in deplorable condition, so. Well, you know, visual approach to the Public Art Commission's request for money seems entirely appropriate and very effective. Yeah. All right. I think All right. A chance, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. I think some of the, the comments you guys made were very helpful too, so. Thank you. All right. All right, bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.